Yo, what's going on? Today we're going to be talking about 3.17 starting less than 24 hours from now. And I think we got our, our starter build as well as our starter passive tree for the Atlas locked in. Go over that now and just kind of lay it out there what I'm going to do, why I think why I think it's good, and some other options I'm considering. Um, I'm going to be going with Absolution Necromancer. Super easy to level with, testing a little bit. Incredibly simple. So we're gonna go with that. And this is kind of like the end game build I'm gonna try first. So this looks a little weird. I know like the big problem here is this Golem Commander. <laughs> it's 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 something I want to try. Having two golems on this build. I think Lightning Golem could be really, really good. But I also think that spending these six points to get here is is kind of costs a lot. And I wouldn't anoint this over over Ravenous Horde. So, so I made a second skill tree without it. And basically what ends up happening is there's a lot of tank here. Um on one. You see you kind of stop here. These are questionable skills as well. Um Fortress Covenant questionable as well. Mainly the, the middle section, your cluster jewel, all that's the same. This can be reached at level 92, this is 115 skill points. For the two golem one, the one golem one, this can be done at level 93, 116 skill points. And I, it doesn't lose a lot. Like the only thing this loses, it loses the golem. You get your six skill points back. I move some stuff around here so I can come down here as the better armor node instead of the one here. Um, get an extra jewel slot. I grab these two nodes. Like this, this could just be better, but I'm I'm really really want to try two golems first. Those golems are cool, and I think it could be fun. Um, do that information you like. This is probably better. I'm gonna try two golems though. As you can see, this build this build is armor. This build is block. Um, big health pool. We're going for we're going for big health pool. Max resist, obviously. Max block, and. Finally, um, big armor pool with determination. So, now we're going for there's nothing crazy on here other than other than the two golem setup, which I, I guess I probably wouldn't recommend. But the other option is instead of going two golems, is like get rid of a couple of these nodes. We don't need probably don't might not need to use tireless. And we can grab a few things over here, but I don't think there's a way we can get down to here to this armor node. I'll play around with a little bit more, but but this is what we're thinking for for two golems. We're gonna try it out. We're gonna try it on stream. See how it goes. At least this is how we're gonna start. Right? This is how we're gonna start. See what happens to this. We're gonna look at the skills. We're gonna six link absolution. Obviously, minion damage. This is the lightning. Increase crit, lightning pen, summon phantasm. And again, this is all fluid. I'm not, I'm not sold on any of this stuff, but I think it's gonna be a good build. I know other people are gonna play Absolution, they're in, or they're gonna start Absolution and roll into Skelly Mages. Skelly Mages is probably better. If I played that last week, I just didn't want to do it again. And I played Absolution in the in the challenge leagues, and I thought it was really fun. So we're gonna do this. Um, I think this is probably the best way to do it. Bellico, maybe. We would replace like um probably replace minion damage with spell echo spell echo just feels really bad when casting but it's really good on the minions so it's kind of it's kind of like a, a catch there it feels bad when i'm using it but my minions are like pumping out way more damage when they're using it so that's the spell echo thing it just it just feels so bad if, you, if i can get the cast speed up high enough i'll use it Um, first four links can be raised on the Summon Stone Golem with Feeding Frenzy and Ruthless. Um, and again here, it's, it's, uh, a lot of this is going to be by feel. It's going to be, the, these first three are locked in, and it's either going to be Ruthless or Elemental Army. But I don't think I'm getting enough from Ruthless, we're switching to Elemental Army. And then, right here, Spectre, Golem, Meat Shield, and then Elemental Army will be like Minion Life or something like that. And the easy swap if you're going from one golem to two, or from two golems down to one, which I might do, would be just be an animate guardian. Hate that ability, but it's good. But it's just good. 
So, the reason I want to do two golems is actually. Okay, next one um, auras. Determination defines banner skitterbots. Tempo shield, I think, is a pretty standard. Um, I'm using profane proxy. Probably bad. We'll find out. <laughs> I don't like casting curses, though. So, we're going to do skitterbots. We're going to change the the shocky boy into a it's going to deliver conductivity good um trigger wand when i set up a desecrate bone offering probably life tap Lower three link val molten shell flame dash and we'll cast with damage taken val molten shell um don't open yet the extra slot might get handy for this right now we're using two unset rings for conductivity on profane proxy and convocation Switch over to items. Pretty standard stuff. The only, the only uniques I'm looking at right now are Profane Proxy and Darkness Enthroned. I, those are both pretty easy to come by, so I'm not too worried about that. And then Fortress Covenant is. May, might not even end up using The one Golem build of this I have right now doesn't even use it. So. So I think this is like this is like end game. I didn't put in I didn't put in all the pieces, so the damage numbers are off. They're they're lower than what they're gonna be. Um I didn't put the flask and anything like that. I just wanted to get an idea. Um, but, but seven jewels on the two golem version. Eight jewels on the one day on the one golem version is is pretty good. I mean, it's got like pretty reasonable minion damage jewels. Twenty percent damage increase if you use minion in school. Thirty life, and then whatever else is on there. Raisin pillage on the cluster jewel. Raise and pillage renewal vicious bite, so we got raise, raise and pillage, so we're gonna grab at least one of these eye tools is gonna have minions deal additional fire damage for the ignite. So that is my plan, at least to start. So we're gonna start with the two golem, see what happens. I hate it, which I'm, I, I I think I will. I think I'll I think I'll come to my senses and, and we'll switch to the to the one golem. We'll do that. But I think probably more important than this is going to be talking about passive skill tree. And I have basically the default one that any other video, any other guide's gonna say what to do right now. Um, with a, with one probably added feature, I think is good for my build in particular. Um, so my plan, obviously, start straight up the middle. I'm gonna grab this essence node first. This is gonna be more important to me than getting the maps. I think essences are gonna be really good. I wanna get I wanna craft some stuff with essences. Um I'm skipping this like strong box and and um drying nodes. These seem like bait, right? Like Yeah, I get it's more minions, but is it worth it? At least essence gives you a few more minions and you get something good to drop. These are just like you might get a map. I, I, I'll pass. Um, so I'm gonna grab the essences and go straight up to the middle and then we branch out and grab all the map nodes So we get our chance to map strap one to your higher when you get both sides of this they're, they're identical on the sides or close to identical You'll end up with map tiers um, Dropping one tier higher 50% of the time grab this whole thing and this whole thing um, On this side, I'm gonna grab the essence Node and then we have the Harbinger node on the side. One Harbinger is great. Harbinger Scarabs are just expensive. Like, you just get to put a, a Harbinger Scarab on every map or a Rusted Harbinger Scarab on every map is good. Um, I have Abyss checked on here. I'm co This will be coming back later. Come back later once we get up here. So then we're going to scoop around through the Kirak missions. And we're going to have the Kirak uh, Notable here. One additional Kirak mission today. If you can get this done in the first and second day, you're off to like such a huge advantage, right? So that's really good. And then we're gonna come straight up, finish our map. This is a, now we have a hundred percent that maps will be plus one tier. We get a buff to fortune favor of the brave, which is looking like it's gonna be really good on the map device to start off with. Um, so I'm gonna start this side and then this side. It's it's three points. It doesn't really matter. There it is. 
Um, and the next most important thing for me is I'm going to scoot out to the side here. We're going to get this Essence node. Sponsored for my Shrink Essence will be duplicated when released. Awesome. Um, I think what's more important though is these two nodes leading up to it are Monsters appear that have a 10% chance for Remnant Corruption, so we get two of these, that's 20% chance for Remnant Corruption. Remnant Corruptions are going to be pretty expensive, we'll be able to corrupt our essence a lot easier. Good. Alright, and then we're going to fire up to the top middle section here. And I'm going to start by going left. And I'm going to get this node, because this will be like the last of the essences thing. And then once we are have all this i'm gonna, I'm gonna undo some of these and see exactly what i'm talking about click 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 so we're gonna grab these and we have all the essences right so then once we have this we're gonna come down here we're gonna grab our harbinger harbinger oh, so we're gonna grab all these these are all good we're gonna, i'm gonna grab all of them And then I'm gonna come over here, grab these two, link to this Harbinger node for the chance to have a Harbinger boss. I have found, I think, um, chance to obtain additional Harbinger is more important than chance to obtain additional essence. What I wanna do is I'm gonna respec at this point. We have this, and we're gonna change, we're gonna switch over to these guys. We're gonna have something like that. I think this will be set up. And then the last thing I personally want to link in is all the abyss stuff. Yeah, I'm already like on the right side of the map and we have all these abyss nodes. It's super important for me because I need ghastly eye jewels and a darkness and throne for my build. Um so for me personally and my build, this will synergize super well to start off with. If you're not doing a minion build, if you're not doing a build that's gonna utilize abyss at all. This, probably, this might not be the way for you to go. I think it, it's still going to be good, but it probably won't be as necessary. But what's really important, I think the coolest note on here is probably the Corrupted Gaze. Um, jewels and areas have 20% chance to be corrupted and have 5 or 6 random modifiers. I don't think we've seen that before. This is going to be pretty awesome. You're going to be just seeing some really cool jewels come out here. Um, uh, like I'm excited to see what we get out of these. The one sad thing about Abyss is there is no way to guarantee that an Abyss shows up, but you can get it pretty close to like 50 to 60%, I think. I did some calculations earlier. Plus three monster level and Abyss depths. Like we're just gonna be dropping good gear then. It's so good. Okay. And this is the one down here that it's probably gonna be the first thing off. This is the one I'm gonna come back and get later. Aries have 1% chance to gain Abyss per 2% increased pack size. So if we get pump over pack size, which is good, and we have better chance to get an Abyss, it's going to make all the other Abyss nodes better. Because this is going to be absolutely necessary for running Abyss. And like you see, we get like a little plus 1% chance to get Abyss around here. I, I think like we're going to end up around like 50% chance to get an Abyss on any given map with this setup. This leaves us 36 points left over. So this is the starter build, this is the starter passive. I'm not gonna have all 36 points, or all the points. 36 left over even pushing it. Like the last thing I'm adding in is Abyss. But if you like, you look back to this, all the stuff without the Abyss passives. One second. All this, Abyss, Abyss. This is really my starter tree. It's 60 points left over, so that's half of them. This is super attainable in the first couple of days, and you just your map sustain will be insane. Your crack missions will be popping off. You'll be getting a crazy amount of essences and all the harbinger nodes. This will be a super good start. Um, the other things you can add in is like these rare monstered ones, wonder monster areas. Like I don't think these. I I really think like this strong box and these shrine ones are just kind of bait. They're more monster, they're more pack size, but. But I don't know if I want to spend three points getting a shrine. I would never like go out of my way to put a shrine on a map. And not the way I like to play. I'd never do, go out of my way to put a, put a strong box on the map unless I was doing magic find, right? <laughs> so that's my thought. That's what I think I'm gonna do. This is my league star plan. 
print the skill tree one more time. I'm not sharing it down. I'm not gonna put the POP into anywhere. So you can look at it. I, I think I think if you're gonna play this, the one column version is probably better. It's definitely tankier. Um, probably pumps up the same amount of damage if you swap out, swap an animated guardian for one of the golems. You don't even have to do that either. Just do something different. Oh. First, I think these are pretty standard, but the Necromancer has to run a first thing on natural strength. And I'm probably going to grab Commander of Darkness just because I'm not going to be um, having the trigger wand right away. But this will be self casting, bone offering. Alright, so that's what I got. Thanks for watching. Stuck it out this long. Hit the like, hit subscribe. Check out my Twitch channel down below. Streaming probably a long time tomorrow. First day of the league. And good luck. Thanks.